should easily be able to place a gradient trigger that is over the top of the level on additive that's going to have maybe a bright red for its primary and darker red for its secondary, something like this. With this gradient set to max, you can see that everything in the level is tinted. Like, this is a black object. It's time to take advantage of this. We're going to place a square on B4 and Z order number 2, which is just going to be white. And then we're going to scale up very slightly just to create that background layer again. We can make this black and now you can see it's red because of the gradient. We can just group this and keep creating our objects in an outline like we have been doing. We could just slap down a touch triggered area scale trigger on our start pause real quick, which is going to scale them up as we go past them. So I'm going to put like 1.25, a decent length, and we're going to leave it on this setting, which means as we get close to it in both the X and Y, it's going to scale up when we land. You can see how these structures kind of connect their lines to these objects. I find these types of structures extremely common where you've just got a single color and an outline. Okay, this is cool, but I'm actually just going to prefer an X-based setting on this area scale. I just feel like it's more dramatic to have it done this way. The objects at the top and bottom of the screen weren't getting affected. Now, this is better, but the player is getting covered by the gradient. I don't want that. I'm going to set this gradient to be on B2, which leaves B3 space for something else.